So I spoke about the, the, the this point right here. If you're interested, just go back to the previous video. I ain't gonna waste your time. I will ask you to click subscribe and all that good stuff. So let's move on real quick. So the second point is the mining companies made it through the pandemic. Um and they were and they're reliant on exports and commodity prices and they still made it through the worst part. Now I think we can all agree at this point that you know they were they made it through the first and second wave. We're about to get into the third wave. And they've been doing okay. You know, there are there are companies that really got hit hard. Remember these are, are the mindings are specifically focused on exports, right? So if, if borders are closed, you can't export. So for a company to kind of do okay, right, to be okay, not like to, to essentially be okay, they like we're okay <coughs> during the times when they cannot be productive legally. Um, and then on top of that, there's there's you know there's so much drama and it's still okay. To me, it's just like, well, you know, and the balance sheets are still okay. That that tells you that, well, what's next, right? What do you think is going to happen when the revenue starts kicking? What what else are they going to work into? In terms of in terms of other commodities, there's still a lot, right? Commodities, I think, are still going to boom. US is still looking into the printing. Um, I think that the US dollar is still going to weaken some more, which is crazy. A couple of weeks ago, if not months. I was just like, imagine if if um, the, the the dollar were to drop below fifteen, <laughs> and now we're we're below fifteen, you know. Um, so right now I'm just like, imagine if we were to drop below thirteen, right? Um, and it's possible. Um, it's weird to say, but it's possible. Um, and yeah, I mean, the the U.S. has to essentially go through a crisis for it to go down to thirteen. It's not like we've done anything amazing, but again, I think that it's at this point that that a few things we need to realize, and this is kind of where the 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 the, the importance comes in, is we we don't quite benefit off a weaker rand specifically, right? Our exports benefit, and again, this is this is uh, I. I a speculation based on the stupidity of how 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 undecided we are in terms of leadership and in terms of what market we are trying to attend to. So let's just say we're an exporting country, right? That's what we do. That's how we make our, our money. Let's just run with that idea. If we run with that idea, then we benefit off a weaker rand, right? Or a stronger dollar. So now what do you think's gonna happen? First, I can tell you right now, the dollar is going to do amazingly well. It's it's printed. People are going to go crazy about how much is printed and how much debt there are. I can tell you right now, the dollar is going to be okay. The dollar is going to be okay. The dollar is going to strengthen. And I can tell you right now, we're going to wake up and the dollar is going to be at 20 bucks to the dollar. Right? And that's when it's just going to hit you. It's like 20 bucks to the dollar. And now the next part is now think about this right you've got gold at like four thousand right at that in like say two years you've got gold at like four thousand and they're selling in dollars and we've got a weaker buck so and i'm saying the, the the balance sheet is going to be ridiculous of of mining companies for the next couple of years and i can tell you now that in the next Let's say in the next sixty months, if you if you if you listen to BDTV, uh, Business Day Television, um, specifically, you're going to hear um, your David Shapiro's, your um, Wayne McCurry's, your uh, Mata guy from Twenty Seven Four Investments, um, Nadir Token, I think, and these guys basically talking about how we're benefiting or benefiting off the weaker the weaker rand to the do, the weaker rand and how exports are driving and they basically want to be explaining what I am now just in a more nicer 
intellectual manner right so long story short I'm jumping into this because I think that no one's paying attention to it there's blood in the streets in terms of mining companies no one's paying attention to them everyone's running to crypto everyone's running to coinbase everyone's running to to all of these sexy stocks which I think is just super volatile and I just want to get into something that that's that's value based that I think is just underpriced and that right now to me are mining stocks the other reason that I'm doing this is that I don't want to jump in and out of, of stocks in fact I'm even thinking of selling um, my current US positions just so that I don't have to keep up with US stocks because then it's just like uh, it's just extra work right so I'm thinking of just selling my US stocks closing my 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 um, my US um, investor uh, uh, account and just keeping with the South African version and again the growth is better in the US I'm 100% sure that I could get a nicer return but then it's just fees the fees are just ridiculous so that's the only thing that's really kicking me out unless the unless I can fix the fees of Capitec which it's, it's very possible that they could very very soon um, but again the, the other question then becomes how sustainable will it be um, for me to have a US a US account trying to pay me dividends over a long period of time and then using those dividends month and month so it, it, that kind of becomes a weird question so again going off track the point though is I think that mining companies gonna do amazingly um, and I just think that they are sleeping giants and what would even be crazy is if they started merging and and, and they just started growing from there